Uh, let's see what we play against first. Let's try to swap with jungle. I can probably get last pick this game. Kassadin? It could be a decent Kassadin game. They have... They have Cho'Gath and Zix. You know what? You know what? I like the idea of that. Let's go. Match up into Cho or Zix is fine. And once I scale up, I'll be a monster against the champions. Why Chippel Tonic? Well, let's think about it, yeah? So... What does Chipotle Tonic do? First of all, it gives you 40 gold for free. It's not huge, it's something. It gives you Elixir Force, which is like maybe in some fight you get a little bit more damage. Okay, sure. And it gives you a skill point. Skill points on Kassadin are very good, because Kassadin likes points into Q, W, and E. All of them are very important, which means he scales up to late game, to level 18. Like, boots are also fine, because then you don't spend 300 gold on boots, and you can get um, other items before that. Both are viable. Both are very good. I feel like Electro gives much more damage than First Strike. Your thought process is bad, because you're comparing a damage versus damage, when First Strike is not only a damage keystone, and you get a different tree. We're gonna go Dark still. We're playing Kassadin into Cho. This matchup becomes very, very good at for Kassadin after level 6, when you can reposition with your Q with your ultimate against his Q. Now obviously silence is still a bit annoying because he can first silence you and then look to Q you. But early game, this matchup is very hard Cho'Gath favored. You can't really poke him down because Cho'Gath's passive is pretty much infinite sustain. You don't really out damage him. You can... He does a lot of damage early game. With Comet and, and Q, he does a shit ton of damage. So you have to be a bit careful. So yeah, our go goal this game is very simple. We're gonna play slow early game, try to farm up to 6, and then once we get like Malignus and close to level 11 or level 11, we're gonna start playing much more aggressive into these champions. Because um, enemy team comp is really weak into Kassadin once he scales. Gonna see if he tries to Q me, because I think he's gonna try to Q me soon. I have to do Q. Oh, he did W start, okay. W Cho has right now 11 seconds cooldown on this patch. It used to be 13. So that spell is a little bit buffed now. Okay, he's gonna try to W me now that I don't have Q. I'm not gonna go for that minion. He would hit level 2 and then do W into Q and nuke my HP. Okay, let's try to last hit as many as we can. We can get that one. I'm pretty much ungankable. Kha'Zix will be most likely gank bot lane if any lane right now, looking at the map. Lane is going pretty well. Gonna pop first potion here. Since I'm a little bit damaged. Attack him here to proc first strike before he knocks it off me. So Jarvan is doing bot crap right now, which tells me the information that enemy Kha'Zix has to be in top crap. So Rexa, you're playing Wixad right now, but she seems to be quite ungankable. Unless she takes more damage, then maybe enemy team can dive her. If Chogat really wanted, he could push mid and run top lane right now. Having the wave in front of your tower is the best lane position you can have into a Cho'Gath. Gonna ward here. Just for safety, because Kha'Zix could look for a jump over the wall and nuke my HP. I have minion limit still to last hit some of the minions. Gonna pop the potion for 40 gold. And I'm gonna look to base soon. As you can see, I'm getting kinda low. And we don't wanna die into him anytime soon. So, probably right now. This looks like a decent base spot. He could cancel me once here, if he wants to. I'm gonna lose two minions now. Nope, I have to sidestep that too, again. This is totally fine. <clears throat> Gonna prioritize buying Malignance as soon as possible. That item is insane on Castellan. I have a Lulu mid lane right now. It's possible she's on the ward. Gonna hard trade right here. Because first check just gave me 40 gold in the trade, which is huge. And lane is in a very good position. I'm gonna keep having this defensive position. Enemy team can't really gank me and punish me before I get level 6. I'm gonna be doing grabs, it seems like. Enemy support is walking back bot, so it will probably, it's gonna be probably free. I'm almost level 6, throw to pit, gotta time that. He has two cookies, I'm not sure why he's playing cookies in a Kassadin matchup. You don't really need them, because your lane is so free early game. He's also maxing W. You can see that his W is doing a lot of damage. Which I think is probably fine to max into a Kassadin, because your Q will not be landable after level 6. Activate potion since we're gonna fight right now. And... What?
Well, we had a different idea, I guess. I want him to go in and he goes out, so... Um, I am convinced we would win that 2v2 if he went in with me. But the moment he EQs out, I obviously lose after. Okay, it's okay. Well, it happens, it happens. It's not a big deal. My champion will still scare really well. Like, we just can't get tilted. We can't afford to be tilted. Let's see what item Shogat has after the... After he got a kill. Last chapter and Amplifying Tom. His damage is quite high, but he's still pretty squishy. Ooh, no boots gonna hurt me there. Not sure if you wanna... F like, I don't think we can fight mid lane unless we know where Kha'Zix is, because we do lose 2v2 right now. We're both weaker, I think. I'm gonna do a point in Q, because if, if I have a point in Q, if he W's me in a Q, my Q will block all the damage from W. Uh, I don't know if you can fight this Dragon. It's pretty much free for enemy team. Yeah, let's try to kill him. Nice, that's huge for me. Two Darkseid stacks. I did try to last hit the kill here. Uh, why are we pinging? I don't understand. We have to leave that Dragon. This is the correct play, I think. By the Jarvan. So we know Cho has no TP, we know Kha'Zix is around Raptors, so we're just gonna wait, push this way really as fast as I can, and base again. Just like that. Leaving a, a ward in the middle of the lane is very good, because after Cho will push the waves, um, since I'm gonna be bad tempo right now, I can see where he roams. Top is looking okay. They got a Jargon, but it's not that big of a deal. Game is looking okay. Next base, I should probably will be. I will probably be able to get the malignance. See that? It W's me, and my Q blocks almost all the damage. Oh, I shouldn't have ulted. I have too much mana cost. This is pretty easy to kill Chogat mid. He's one of the most immobile champions in this video game. Good job, Jarvan. And we have perfect gold for Malignance. Our Zara is really tilted, but we're gonna have to carry her. Is your ult the more you use it, the more it does damage? Yes. But it also costs more mana. Okay, yeah, these grabs are a bit risky. They have a Janna advantage. They have a number advantage. I don't, uh, oh, what? That's not good. That's not good. That was a mistake. Oh. Okay, just got the run. Drama does a lot of damage, man. I'm pretty strong now, but again, can't like go in at the wrong time and then Kha'Zix is there or someone and, and I die. Right now, the, all the lead is on me, so I have to take safe place. Stopping his base would be pretty big here. You can see Chogat can never kill Kha'Zix and you can always just jump out. If I see Kha'Zix on the map, I'll definitely look to trade. I hard win trades. Oh my. Pale fish. Happens to the best and to the worst, guys. I had a free kill. I had a free kill. The ult flash would kill him. Uh, never mind. I'm not tipping bots. Um, they're probably bot side of the map. Running top just in case. Darius ghosted. Can ping that while I'm running. Okay, nice. Oh, Zari died though. I'll throw no flash as well. These type of traits are good for me. Uh oh, this is not good though. That guy is really fast. I can maybe leave though. Okay, I'm good. Need to base again for health. Or Zari has anger problems. I don't know why she's did at a jungle. I don't know why she's pinging me. I almost level 11, I'm gonna spike really hard. Janna is right behind him and Kha'Zix could be too. A bit risky since we don't know where the Kha'Zix is. This guy should still have no flash. Easy kill. Okay, I should be fine too. Run, Lulu. Go. I need to wait till Darius uses Q and then I go on him so the Q doesn't damage me. And I got level 11. Okay, I can definitely carry this game. This is very massive right now. 
Maybe I run top and I try to kill the Ziggs. If he disrespects and doesn't back in time. Oh yeah, he's dead. He's gonna suicide for tower. He could look to TP out though. I don't have a ward for the bush. Okay, doesn't have TP. Shoot me. I have no mana, guys. Okay. Now we're level 11, we're massively strong, so I can take over the game now. It should be probably free kill on Cho. He might have flash though. He probably has flash, but giving me kill would be nice. Not bad. I have uh, Dark Seal, so I think giving me kill hit here is correct. Um, I also solo AP, so I'll scale really hard. Uh, what is she cooking? I can't ult. My button doesn't work. What? My button didn't work. There was nothing CCing me. I don't know why my button didn't work. Well, minus five dark sea stacks. This is fucking bad, man. Uh, thinking of killing this guy on the wave. If I TP mid right now and he keeps pushing, let's kill him. I can get two dark sea back now. This should be definitely free kill. He can't escape even if he has slash. It's not possible. I don't even think we have to Jarvan ult here. Nice. Yeah, Cho is just really, really, really easy to kill once you get to like level 11 as Kassadin. Quick base here. Got Saraphs. It's a massive spike. The shield's gonna help me survive. And then we're gonna buy more AP. I think our Zari is dead though. Yeah, our Zari is definitely dead, I think. Maybe I can look for Zix. I could be on a ward right now, though. Okay, one kill. Come on. There's no MR. I just need a little bit of help from one teammate and we kill him. He can't really escape either. I mean, he has ghosts, but I think he's too far up. Nice, Star Shield. Just like that. Nice. That's why Seraph is really important. With this build, you are a bit squishy. But if you have Seraph, it gives you a lot of health, basically, via the shield. Quickly buy AP. So you get home guards after minute 14, and every time you have home guards, you just quickly heal up, and then you can go right back into action. Fighting is very good as well. First strike already gave me 600 gold, which is massive. We should fight the Dragon. We need Lulu, I think. I don't know if we want to go in already. There was someone right here. I think it was Cho. I'm silenced. Oh my god. Okay, that was a bit messy. I got silenced and queued and yeah, that was a bit all over the place. We definitely took the fight way too slow uh, because Darius managed to come out of base. This should have been a clean ace, honestly. I don't know what that TP is. That is a really weird TP. He wants to kill the tower? There's no way. He should he shouldn't be able to. We should kill Darius if he keeps or kill them, kill them. What what what? Like Jarvan. Jarvan, 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 Jarvan. Where is he going? Where is Blood going? Where is he? Jarvan. I think we should back. We're a bit low. Let's back. I'm holding ult. I only have one charge right now. I might base TP if they want to fight. We're just gonna use Harold to go anywhere he wants. We need to make plays together with Jarvan ult, and Lulu has to probably ult and shield me, not Zari, because I'm way stronger than him. Cho has Proto belt. What the hell is that build? I don't know about forcing a mid fight. He might not be alone. Okay. That's fine. We gotta be careful of Baron, though. No, don't fight. Don't fight. I'm not there. Only take fights when I'm there. 
This is really bad. Jarwin wasted E. Darius ghosted. Well, I couldn't see him. So unlucky. I didn't know if he got a W all over the wall or if he didn't. Yeah, that fight is lost. They're gonna try baroning, I think. I mean, we got Janna and we only lost two people. Maybe they can't baron, unironically. I need to follow there. Okay, we got another kill. I mean, not too bad. Can't go. There's always someone close to him. Okay, I have a lot of gold. Uh, we can get two big items. Darius is still dead. Rexa has TP. I'm gonna immediately TP. This is the ward I have. We should look to force right now, no? I have a really good flank, I think. Darius is coming. I'm kinda useless right now, I'm gonna be honest. I need to wait for a ult to tick down. Darius, no ult. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna clear mid wave. I'm shocking with mana. I think I'm too low HP. If Chogat still has ult, then if he ults me, I don't think I'll leave that. I don't mind if they get the Jargon. Like, they're gonna be close to soul, but we won't lose the game over it. Jargon can steal this, no? EQ and steal. Oh, maybe not. Kill Darius first. Kha'Zix is coming up base. Okay. Didn't kill, which is unfortunate. Can we perhaps do Baron? I'm not sure if we can. We don't have any tier 1s besides Botlin. Kill this guy, no? This Shogat should be able to die here. We can just Zary E over the wall and he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I'm gonna get so much first shot gold. 160 first shot gold on a single trait. Beautiful. Give me this. No, no, don't eat the, the fruit. Damn. I got Zonia. Well, I'm alive. But the Kha'Zix has Mao and then he doesn't die because he's super, super tanky for me. I can't really afford to go Void because it's only good into car realistically. I mean, Darius will die anyway. Okay, so if my teammates wait now and let me heal and I go back to fighting, I think we can maybe get Baron. We're not really progressing the game. We kind of need a Baron. Like, shouldn't we force it right now? They should have no flashes. I mean, they should have low amounts of flashes. Oh my god. I'm on a ward, that's why he knew a little. I'll go mid, since I have TP. I'm really close to Rabadon as well. Back, right. Level 16. Flanking is really good into enemy team comp because as soon as they remove Ziggs and Janna from the fight, the fight is probably won for us. So I'll look for flank opportunities if I can get them. I'm so close to Rabadon. Nice. Yeah, at level 16, it's even harder for them to stop me because I can just jump and ignore people. We can't do Baron. I guess we can't. I'm gonna be full built now. Can I say Nemesis? <laughs> Nemesis does level 16 on Cass even matter anymore since you get level 3 CD at 6 with malignance. It does, yeah. Every point matters. Level 16 still gives you more damage per stack and more damage in general and it gives you still lower cooldown, so yeah, it matters. I'm gonna get blue now for mana region, which is nice, and now, now we gotta fight, like, now we gotta win. Like, my champion is Thanos right now, like, we gotta win now.
I think he might have ulted. I'm waiting for my ult CD to go down. Please don't let Kha'Zix steal. We need to turn. Guys, if they're that close, just go in. Like that, Rek'Sai. Good. That's my champion. That is my champion. See, like, it's really easy to win. I'm gonna finish this just in case, because... Okay, they surrendered. Just in case the game isn't over. I did say at the beginning of the game, okay, Kassadin is insane pick this game. Like, their team comp makes no sense into Kassadin, it hard counters everything. And I even made a lot of mistakes, like Jarvan got me a lot of kills, which was nice, but then I threw them a lot. I died like two or three times this game completely unnecessary.